Good day, Pirates. This is Shmi with Shmi's Ship vs. Ship Simulator. Today we're going to be covering the build section of the simulator. Quick tutorial. First thing you get is a system message. With any pop-up windows in this program, all you do is you click in the window and it automatically closes it. So let's get to building a ship. Roll over the little ocean piece here. You see the tool tip that pops up. Select a ship. We'll start with a sea wolf. You have armor, weapons, and specials. Let's go ahead and just put a little something on here just to get it going. Alright, so we have a thud 4. We're showing a DPS of 30. BA means it's ballistic. The number in brackets is DPS versus buildings. The weight is 86. It's in red because there's something negatively affecting that. Over here, you can see it's plus 39% weapon weight for hardened barrels too. The green means something is positively affecting it. Range from 0 to 62. Up here the green says ballistic range. Down here at the bottom, you have an armor of 1300. The maximum DPS of 30, which is just this one weapon. Or 74.9, again this one weapon. A damage of 150. This damage means that how much damage will this whole ship do in one shot? So one shot, it does 150 damage or 262 against buildings. You have 253 weight with 2047 left over. Over here on the side is the ship summary. You have your combat speed, turning speed, map, etc. Down here are countermeasures and we will discuss those in a minute. Let's go ahead and put a few more weapons on this ship. Now you can see my DPS has gone up to 90. And 224.6 versus buildings. The damage has also gone up. If we go to analyze up here at the top, it gives you a larger, it gives you a more detailed view of what's going on. The color codes here at the bottom correspond to the colors that show up in the graph. The numbers 0 through 100 is the range. You can see that I'm doing 90 DPS all the way up to about 66 range. Sure enough, 30, 60, 90 at 66 range. If we were to throw like a cutlass missile in here, it gets a little more range. You can see now how the DPS graph changes. These numbers change here. The lowest number is in blue, and it'll go all the way to white if you have that many variations. So reading this graph, you can see we're doing some damage from 0 all the way out to 72. But our maximum damage, 102, is happening right here between about 35 and 66. <clears throat> so the, that means the ideal range for this ship to fight in to maximize its damage is from 35 to 66. 102 is your max DPS. Sure enough, right here max DPS is 102. Click the fleet button up here. We can start importing these ships into the fleet slots. And over here is a fleet analysis. Your fleet weighs 3,245 out of a maximum of 27,548. This program right now assumes that you already have shipyard, I mean uh, dock 10. The entire fleet has an armor of 6,500, can do 510 DPS, or 1,209 versus building. And here's the countermeasures rating down here, which I'm going to discuss right now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and clear this ship out. So, we will start with a Mercury. We'll rank it up here by just continually clicking. Make Shipyard level 2. A Mercury has a base defense of 30%. Let's analyze this right quick. A base, <clears throat> a base missile defense of 30% down here. If I put a Guidance Scramble 3 on it, it gives 40% of aid. 40% evade plus 30% missile defense works out to 58% missile defense under the composite defense portion. So if we put some tier 1 armors on it, all missile defense, now we're up to 48.97% missile resistance. That combined with the evade comes out to 63. So let's add a phalanx 3. Phalanx 3 gives you another 10% versus missiles. Now we're at 5407. It also gives something new. This CM value is countermeasures. What that does, this number right here 
represents a rough percentage of how many missiles this phalanx can shoot down against a standardized target. If you roll over here, you'll see an explanation. That phalanx shoots down a certain percent of missiles, so we take that percentage over here. You evade at 40% and a missile defense of 54% means now you have a total theoretical missile defense of almost 75%. So as the missile's being fired, the phalanx has a chance to shoot it down, let's say of 6.79%. Let's say it doesn't shoot it down. Now your ship has a 40% chance to evade those that didn't get shot down. Then finally, those that it didn't evade are only going to hit for 54% less damage than before. So now your missile defense is up to 74. We can keep adding more phalanx on here. And if we went with reactive armor 3, now your missile defense normally is 88%. Combine that with an evade of 40 and 4 phalanx 3s that can shoot down approximately 27% of all inbound missiles, your missile defense is now 93%. Now, since it's not a weapon, it doesn't show up in the DPS analysis here. Some other features. Attack slot. What this slot does is it just simulates that somewhere in your fleet is either an Arbiter or a Hurricane with a tactical mod to it. This one adds 25% fleet map speed and 50% fleet turn speed. So you see your turn speed and your map speed added there. There's no weight that's added to the hull at all because this just means that it's somewhere in the fleet. Under the alliance portion, you click in the bars to slowly raise your alliance bonus. And if you want to clear them out, you just click on the large picture. Check boxes up here cover build and repair times. Right now you see a repair time of 9 minutes and 10 seconds. Put the check box for the officer. It lets you know there's an officer involved. Now there's 8 minutes and 15 seconds. With a 5 minute bonus, now you're at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. And during the raid, it's an instant repair. Raid doesn't affect build time, so you won't see anything there. Here's where your resources are, and that covers the basics of the builder portion of this program.